I just married ChatGPT to Great Judy and found out the coolest thing about my farm. Let me show you. I found something super interesting and I used the power of AI, plus my knowledge from going to Greg Judy's grazing school to kind of put together a big picture deal. That one right there, that is a weed that tells us a story. And let me tell you that story. So this is from ChatGPT. I asked it what kind of plant is this and it said the plant in your photo appears to be cleavers. Gallium aparine, also known as bed straw or sticky weed. Here's how you can tell. Blah, blah, blah. Goes on how to talk to it. it interestingly, it says a spittle mass. The frothy blob near the node is made by spittlebug nymphs, a common sight on cleavers and other plants in spring. I never knew that. That's kind of cool. Uh, sometimes you'll see a little bit of moisture on the plant, and that's, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, so my next question was, great, what deficiency does it show in the soil? Because all plants tell a story about your soil. And this is where it gets interesting. ChatGPT says, cleavers are not typically caused by a nutrient deficiency. Instead, they are more often an indicator of soil conditions, especially those related to high nitrogen, low calcium, and low potassium. Cleavers tend to thrive in high nitrogen, low calcium environments, especially where organic matter is accumulating but not decomposing well. And soils with low potassium can also promote weed pressure, including cleavers. Compacted or poorly aerated soil and low biological activity or unbalanced microbial life. Now this is interesting. So it, it says, and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, but it says, what can you do? You can add calcium, like uh, lime, essentially. Uh, add potassium sulfate if K is low. Use compost teas or diverse cover crops to build biology, that is true. And graze rotationally and avoid overgrazing. Aha, and that right there, that is the ticket item. That is the big ticket idea. Let me explain. We've noticed this deficiency when we have had the animals out here. So we have that free choice mineral system that feeds, I think it's 24 different minerals or, or some such. When they're in this field, they hit the potassium, they hit the sulfur, and they hit their multivitamin like crazy. We cannot keep potassium K in the mineral feeder. So that tells us that w without even doing a soil sample and without even really getting super scientific about it, what the animals are eating and what the pasture is growing is telling us what the pasture is deficient in, which is wild. Nature is an amazing thing and that is super cool that it's telling us that. We also know that the microbial life in the soil is low. This has been hayed out, it's compacted, we know that. There's other weeds in the pasture that are telling us that the soil's compacted, that's from all the haying, lack of organic material. I bet if we tested this, the organic material would be less than 2%, probably 1%, because we've been taking all that carbon off the farm and uh, taking it someplace else, feeding it on other land. Now we're keeping the carbon on the farm and we're bringing in tons of hay every year, which is really gonna help that organic matter and boost it up. So carbon builds biological life, Biological life helps the plants take nutrient and minerals out of the air and out of the animal waste and put it back into the soil, which then brings it back up through the plants so the animals can eat it and continue that virtuous cycle. And what we don't have, we supplement with our free choice mineral feeder. It's, it's just amazing. The whole thing, God made a perfect system. It's, it's just awesome. If you're not using AI on your farm and not the type that gets cows pregnant, you really need to look into doing it. This type of information is invaluable, especially when I can do it out in the field with one of these guys, right? Some say I'm outstanding in my field. I'm even better with ChatGPT. So get out there, use it, give it a try. It'll revolutionize how you farm. If you like this video, I did a video on how I use AI on my farm. You can check it out here. If you want to look at our free choice mineral system and how we use that, I would recommend checking out this video here. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. God bless. John Davis, Lachlan Highlands Farm, out.